examine within yourself, for there lies an enduring wellspring of strength, always ready to burgeon forth if you are willing to seek it out consistently. As Marcus Aurelius wisely puts it, look well into thyself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present something profound, a mere spark that possesses the potential to ignite the flames of transformation within your life. Observe that individual in the distance, appearing feeble, despondent, and conquered. Now, shift your gaze to the same man, but transformed, resilient, composed, and self-assured. What if I were to reveal that both states belong to the same person? The impediment preventing him from embodying that robust and stoic persona lies in the grip of seven anti-stoic habits, which we shall delve into throughout this video. If your aspiration is to evolve into a superior stoic, a finer individual, then I implore you to accompany me on this journey until its conclusion. Our stoic community has a momentous announcement awaiting you at the end, a revelation not to be overlooked. Now, let the metamorphosis commence. Embarking on the exploration of the first of these hindrances, the fear of change. Picture that familiar sensation when your beloved series releases a new season and uncertainty looms over whether it will live up to your expectations. That, my friends, is the essence of fearing change. The ancient Stoics embraced adaptability, understanding that it is a fundamental aspect of life. The Stoics held a profound appreciation for change, recognizing it as an intrinsic aspect of life's continual evolution. Viewing life as an ever-changing process serves as a compass to maintain composure and remain vigilant to opportunities. Picture it akin to upgrading to a new phone. Initially, a tad awkward, but undeniably enriched with cooler features. Do not allow the fear of change to shackle you, akin to life's unpredictability. Life has its moods, perpetually fluctuating and surprising us. The secret lies in embracing it, treating every change as a fresh movie scene, sometimes action-packed, other times dramatic, yet consistently exhilarating. Recall the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, the sagacious emperor who declared, what am I going to do about tomorrow? I will meet it with the same weapons that I met today. Let us too maintain our armor of courage, allowing change to become the wind beneath our wings. Now, let's address the tendency to worry about the trivial. Pause for a moment and reflect. How much of your precious time is spent fretting over inconsequential matters, much like being stuck in traffic? It's akin to worrying about a speck of dust on your shoe, utterly irrelevant. Let us shift our attention to the substantial matters and allow the minor concerns to flutter away like leaves in the wind. The Stoics advocate for training our minds to discern the genuine from the superficial, the significant from the inconsequential. Consider this, is it truly necessary? If not, discard it like an unnecessary burden out the window. Another approach involves channeling your inner Stoic by asking, what would a Stoic do in this situation? Zoom out, gain perspective, and behold the broader picture. You are the artist of your life. Why waste your vibrant palette on painting worries and trivialities? Sweep them away and adorn your canvas with strokes of focus, purpose, and joy. Life is too fleeting to be ensnared in the web of the irrelevant. Keep your gaze fixed on the prize, allowing distractions to fade away. You may even stumble upon your own pot of gold. Now, let's explore the third hindrance, seeking revenge. Picture this scenario. You're engrossed in your favorite book at a cafe and someone accidentally spills their coffee on it. The immediate reaction might be anger, coupled with a desire for retaliation. Responding by hurling harsh words or retaliating with a spillage of your own is a natural inclination when feeling violated in such situations. However, consider the stoic perspective. 
They would assert that revenge is akin to adding more sugar to an already sweet drink, unnecessary and unhealthy. The only entity savoring the rush is your ego, and let's not indulge it in junk food. Instead, opt for the nutritious greens of improvement and understanding. Keep in mind that seeking revenge is akin to running on a treadmill. You're expending energy, sweating, exhausted, yet making no progress. Channel that energy into propelling forward in life. Echoing the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, the best revenge is to not be like them. Embrace stoic principles, prioritize inner resilience over external conflict, safeguard your peace, and progress. Now, let's address the fourth impediment, wasting time. We often bemoan the brevity of our days while behaving as if they were infinite. Reflect on Seneca's words. Does it strike a chord? It's analogous to binge-watching a show, to wondering why the clock ticks away so swiftly, akin to a Snapchat story. Our time here is a fleeting tale, my friends, limited and precious. Let's not squander it in futile searches for the remote control. Instead, let's craft love, laughter, and dance through the sands of time. Recognize that your time is the most valuable treasure you possess. Resist burying it beneath the debris of procrastination and delay. Don't merely exist, live life magnificently. Elevate your priorities, focusing on duties, goals, and endeavors that truly resonate with your soul. Invest your time in creating memories, achieving goals, and being present for your loved ones. Today is your opportunity to be remarkable. Tomorrow is but a tentative entry on the calendar of life. And before we continue, a special announcement awaits our community, especially those deeply intrigued or curious about Stoicism, a revelation you won't want to miss. Now let's delve into the fifth challenge, seeking external approval. The pursuit of validation from the external world is akin to futilely fishing for approval, are rather choosing to hold the reins of your happiness firmly within. What we must grasp is the stoic concept of the inner citadel, an internal fortress impervious to external opinions or events. This notion encapsulates the idea that our true self, genuine worth and authentic happiness emanate from within this citadel. The Stoics ardently believed in preserving this internal space as sacred, an oasis untouched by the tumultuous judgments and chaos of the external world. Live in harmony with your true values, steadfast against the capricious judgments that surround you. Drawing inspiration from the Stoics, acknowledge the robustness and resilience of your inner citadel, that sanctuary within where authentic self-worth and tranquility coexist. It is paramount to recognize that this inner realm is not about fostering ego or asserting superiority. Rather, it's about anchoring oneself in genuine self-awareness and purpose. By safeguarding and cherishing this inner sanctuary, you are not isolating yourself from the world, but rather choosing to navigate it with a steadfast and centered core. Treacherous exploration. Instead, engage with it from a place of stability and authenticity. The Stoics impart the wisdom that, by nurturing our inner citadel, we remain unshaken amidst the tempests of external opinions and challenges. Cultivate that inner strength and let it serve as the guiding force on your journey. Now, let's tackle the sixth impediment, looking for problems. Resist becoming a detective in your own life, ceaselessly searching for problems where they may not exist. It's akin to searching for ghosts under your bed with a flashlight. Let's turn off that light and illuminate your path with the light of positivity. While life certainly has its share of ups and downs, fixating on the negatives is akin to perpetually riding the downward escalator. Why invest time in the gloomy aspects when you can bask in the sunshine of the positive? Assume the role of the captain of your ship, navigating through storms with resilience, steering towards the calm waters of opportunities and happiness. 
Always remember you hold the compass and the map to your life's journey. Let's transform it into a treasure hunt rather than a hazardous expedition. Concluding our journey through the kick it out list, the seventh hindrance is complaining. The Stoics liken it to yelling at the rain to stop, an exercise in futility. Instead, let's dance in the rain, making the most of every situation. Complaining won't unfold the origami of life. Let's embrace it as it is, learn, adapt, and forge ahead. Transform complaints into actions and hardships into stepping stones. Rather than letting challenges pull us down, let's bounce back like a basketball. As Marcus Aurelius aptly questions, why should we harbor anger at the world as if the world would take notice? The Stoics advise us to keep the world spinning and ourselves winning by exchanging complaints for compliments and problems for solutions. Kick these habits to the curb and witness your transformation into a powerhouse of positivity, strength and resilience, much like the Stoics. As we navigate the pages of life, let wisdom, courage and abundant smiles guide our way. And now, an exciting announcement awaits our community. For those intrigued or curious about Stoicism, brace yourselves for this revelation. Stay tuned for more wisdom, insights, and the camaraderie of like-minded individuals. We've launched a community exclusively for you, our Stoic community. Be a part of this journey as we delve deeper into the teachings of Stoicism and embark on a path of self-discovery, resilience, and inner peace together. Join now and become a part of a community committed to personal growth, wisdom, and mutual support. Let's walk the path of Stoicism together, learning and evolving each day, fortified by the strength of a community that shares your values and aspirations. All right, let's get interactive. Which of these anti-Stoic habits struck a chord with you, or do you have some words of wisdom to share? Drop it in the comments. Sharing is the key to mutual growth and enlightenment. Now seize the opportunity to be part of our Stoic community's journey. Delve deeper into the profound teachings of Stoicism, embarking on a collective path of self-discovery, resilience, and inner peace. Join us now and be a vital participant in a community dedicated to personal growth, wisdom, and mutual support. The link to join is conveniently located in the description and pinned comment below. Let's traverse the Stoic path together, learning and evolving daily, fortified by the strength of a community that shares your values and aspirations. Now, Let's foster interaction. Which of these anti-Stoic habits resonated with you? Or perhaps, do you have words of wisdom to contribute? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below, for sharing is the key to mutual growth and enlightenment. Together, let's build a community that thrives on wisdom, camaraderie, and the collective pursuit of a Stoic life. The first step towards change is crucial, and we're all here to support each other. If you found value in this message, show some love by giving it a thumbs up. If you want more Stoic insights like this, smash that subscribe button. Let's grow and learn together. Until next time, keep the vibes high and the worries low. Stay awesome and stay Stoic. To learn more about how Stoicism can transform your life, select one of the videos that will appear on your screen now.